Greetings, my excellent friends, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Daily Scuba News. Okay, so to tell this story right, we need to jump back to June 2016. The Oceanarium, which is run by Harpar Corporation, announced that it was closing, so they started to transfer their marine animals to its Sentosa Island premises uh, to, so then they can work it out to give it to new facilities. So let's slightly roll the clocks forward to October 2016, and six scuba divers were given the task of removing rays at a holding area to be transported to the new facility. Three of the rays were successfully placed in the holding bay, which left one uh, ray remaining. I said that right at that time. So Philip Chan went into the tank uh, to help get the last leopard whip tail ray into the shallow platform. But whilst doing this, it struck him in the chest with its 22.5 centimeter long bar. Philip collapsed and sadly died from his injuries in the Singapore General Hospital. So let's slightly roll the clock forwards to 2017, when Coroner Marvin Bay said in his inquiry findings that the case showed that an animal handler's expertise, skills and experience would not invariably insulate one from getting or animal inflicting harm, should I say. Uh, the court also found out that there was no risk assessment and safe work procedure for capturing animals. Yes, in an aquarium. It's very bizarre. All the divers in the oceanarium, also known as Underwater World, were hired to clean the tanks and feed marine animals. And that was it. The aquarium relied on Philip, who had, at the time of his death, had 25 years at the company, to brief his co-workers on the risks such as body injuries and other issues such as capturing methods. No one was assigned to look out for the divers who had performed the vacuuming works in the tanks. There was no proper communication channels between the divers and the workers on the surface. There was no standby diver just in case of accidents. There was no pre-dive checks on equipment. And lastly, if a diver fell unconscious in the water, for example, the buddy would not be able to pick up on this immediately because there was no line of sight or any other form of lifeline provided. The judge said that while Philip was experienced, he was not a substitute for proper risk assessments. And earlier this week, so roll it on to 2021, the company has now been fined $105,000. That's it. The firm could have been fined half a million maximum under the Workplace Safety and Health Act, but yet yeah, it was settled at $105,000. Of course, the company and the aquariums that they owned have now all been shut down. But yeah, this fine doesn't sit right with me. $105,000 for someone's life. I don't know, it doesn't seem like there's much, you know, there could have been more done. But what are your thoughts about this story? Do you think that the fine was too low? How comes no one's gone to jail over this incident? Let's have a chat about it in the comments. And that's it for today. Don't forget to get your questions in for Ask Mark. Just use the hashtag Ask Mark and we'll find it. If you want the latest updates about our website and social pages, then check out the Deco Stock podcast. And the Dive Brief has also been turned into a podcast as well. We have also just uploaded our interview with Nick from Dive Saga, which is now gone live as a podcast. So yeah, check that out too. All the podcast stuff, just go over there. Wherever you get your podcasts, you will find all those bits over there. You can, of course, watch Daily Scuba News on YouTube as usual, but now early on Instagram. So if you don't follow us on Instagram, Head over there, hit that follow, and you'll get these stories a little bit earlier than you would on our YouTube channel. To my Instagram family, don't forget to heart the video and maybe share it in your stories. That would be awesome. And to our YouTube family, don't forget to hit that like button, share the story with your diving buddies, and of course, if you haven't already, guys, you gotta smash that subscribe button. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, stay classy, scuba divers. Oh,